The more I learn about hydrogen, the more convinced I become, of how incredibly effective it is, in our health regimen. Hydrogen really does everything, and is the best cleansing aid for our body, completely natural. An occasional detox is not enough, the body must be able to cleanse itself every second. I will explain briefly how hydrogen can help the body fight diabetes, which is a very common disease today. The way of thinking, and the way hydrogen works, is the same, no matter what the disease. We do not cure anything here, but we help the body to recover itself, so that the disease disappears. Diabetes is a metabolic syndrome, poor metabolism, and is caused by insulin resistance. The body can therefore not use insulin, but collects it in the blood. The cells then develop a resistance to insulin. The pancreas is forced to produce more, and more insulin, which has many harmful effects on us. After a while, the pancreas becomes worn out, and begins to produce less, and less insulin. This is when it is called diabetes, and you have to supply insulin to the body daily through medication. What makes using hydrogen so positive is that it improves the blood, blood vessels, and all organs so effectively. In a natural way, the body is strengthened, day by day and it can eventually start to function properly again, without diabetes or any other disease. There are no incurable diseases, and if you give the body the conditions to recover, it can function normally again, regardless of the disease. But everything takes its time. This is a natural, continuous health process, not a quick fix. But believe me, it's worth it, if you want to live long without diseases. Here is how it works, when the cells create energy, to be able to perform their functions. The nutrients come to the cells through a process, where the enzymes, hormones, nervous system, and blood participate to get the nutrients out into the cells, where it can be converted into energy. The cells also need oxygen, to be able to burn the nutrients. The body functions as a factory, where the quality of the raw materials, for example the food, must be good, and needs to be processed with correct mechanisms, in order for good energy to be extracted. This is how hydrogen affects this vital process. Hydrogen thins the blood, and dilates the capillaries. It balances the nervous system and the hormonal system. It improves circulation in the pituitary and hypothalamus, so that the brain can function better and it improves metabolism for better absorption of nutrients. Hydrogen also increases the oxygen uptake in the cells, and all this together gives the cells the strength to create more energy, and the body can function better and better. When the energy is created, waste products are formed, and the body becomes polluted. If oxygen uptake is poor, more waste products are formed, and if the kidneys function poorly, they cannot cleanse the body enough. A lot of waste products accumulate in the lymph and blood, especially when the blood thickens. The liver carries a heavy load when it comes to cleansing, so it needs to be cleansed, and strengthened often, to be able to function well. In a stagnant, contaminated body, no uptake of nutrients, oxygen or supplements can work. We are then trapped in a vicious circle. We must help the body to cleanse itself every second, which becomes the task of hydrogen. Pollution, stagnation, and the development of microorganisms in the body are causing so many problems and diseases, such as, tumors, chronic inflammation, cataracts, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and cancer, to name a few. 
as if it weren't enough for the body, that all these problems must be solved daily. We are also exposed to very many different pollutants and toxins. They enter the body through the intestines, lungs and skin, and exit the body through the lungs, skin, colon, and kidneys. The excess toxins are stored in the joints, liver, bone marrow, muscles, and blood. Problems with, for example the joints are also due to stagnation in the body. Everything is connected. Here is our selection of hydrogen devices. When we add hydrogen to a body, that has stagnation, and chronic inflammation, a major cleansing of the body begins. Hydrogen first enters the blood vessels, and into the bloodstream. The first reaction is that there will be spasms. After the age of 40, the blood becomes thicker, and the blood vessels become slower. Problems with the heart and brain come from this. The blood needs to flow quickly and easily to be able to transport oxygen and nutrients to the whole body. When you start using hydrogen, the capillaries dilate, and because they have been sluggish and without elasticity, spasms form during a transition period. When spasms occur in, for example, the brain, we get headaches for a short time, and it's a completely normal process, as well as you can get pain in the joints, when the spasms occur there. If the spasms, or pain is too much for you, just reduce the amount of hydrogen, for a few days, and then continue again. Another normal and good reaction, when you start with hydrogen is that you get diarrhea. There is often stagnation in the bile, and when the bile runs slower than it should, you become constipated, and gallstones can form. As soon as the stagnation in the bile decreases, and the bile ducts open up, you can get a temporary diarrhea. This is perfectly normal. When we get too many toxins in the body, they must be filtered in the liver, kidneys, and lymph. There are also stagnations, and when we start with hydrogen, the cleansing comes out through the skin in the form of itching, redness or rash. If you get strong reactions when you start with hydrogen, just reduce the hydrogen for a few days, and then continue again. These skin reactions often occur, among other things, in those who get vaccinated, and it's very important that the chemical residues from vaccinations come out of the body, which they usually do through the skin. In case of skin problems, it's always good to spray hydrogenized water, directly on these areas, and that speeds up cleansing. Some people get strong reactions from spasms, others with the skin or joints, when they start with hydrogen. It depends on what the body needs to struggle with. The hydrogen cleanses all the way, down to the gene level. Whatever you want to achieve, hydrogen will help you make your body strong and balanced. When the cells lack hydrogen, they draw it from the water in the body, and we become dehydrated. With age, the moisture in the body decreases, and then both hydrogen and water, to draw hydrogen out, are missing, and then we age faster and faster. When we start using hydrogen, an extensive cleansing of toxins begins. This leads to us being even more dehydrated, for a short period. Continue to use hydrogen, which plays a very big role in the moisturizing process. When the hydrogen molecules come in contact with active oxygen molecules, so-called free radicals, water is formed, and the moisture in all the body's cells increases. Hydrogen thus has the most effective antioxidant effect available. You can therefore not overdose the hydrogen, because the excess converts into water. You can speed up the cleansing process, by having your feet in saline. 
add hydrogen to the water and do this regularly 20 minutes each time. In the feet, there are different zones that are activated by the hydrogen and therefore the cleansing is improved. Make a saline solution in a glass and add hydrogen for a few minutes. Spray or dab the saline solution directly on your problem areas. In case of severe problems, you can soak cotton pads in the hydrogen salt solution and fasten it with a gauze bandage over the problem area. It will speed up cleansing and relieve discomfort and pain. The salt causes the toxins to be expelled from the body more quickly. When the cleansing itself is done, you can increase the hydrogen without getting any negative reactions. Then your goal is for the body to become stronger, function better, and rejuvenate. When the environment in any part of the body is stagnant, the immune cells cannot reach the various foreign guests that are formed. They can be microbes, parasites, or cancer cells, for example. When we add hydrogen, the immune cells become so much stronger, that they can defeat all pathogenic microorganisms in the body. When the immune system is strong, it can defeat everything. The immune system must be strengthened regularly, because we are exposed to stress and infections all the time. Every cell in the whole body is enhanced by hydrogen. Our medium-sized device produces 300 milliliters of hydrogen per minute, and it provides a good therapeutic effect, that is enough to maintain good health, and help us be free from many diseases. If you have very serious illnesses, or severe chronic problems, I recommend the large device, to get a faster and deeper effect. The small bottle is easy to bring with you, so it's a good complement to the large devices, if you are traveling. I strongly recommend combining drinking hydrogen water, spraying on problem areas, and inhaling the hydrogen gas. Then you give the body the best possible conditions, to become healthy and strong.